There we are. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Vanessa. Hi. And these are our lovely Sensational Start Level 2 and Level 3 earners. Uh, they have decided to take time out of their busy day to chat with you guys. Um, and we're just going to do a very casual Q&A session. Um, so if you guys could just introduce yourself super quick. Just say um, say your name. Say hi. Let us know where you're um where you guys are chatting from, and then we'll go from there with our first question. All right, I'll go ahead. Um, my name is Shoshana McGee. I am in Ohio. Where do you live? Um, I live in Warsaw. It's in Coshocton County. Coshocton, okay, down by Columbus. I'm up in Cleveland. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, good my day. name I'm is <laughs> Go ahead, you're good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, good. I'm half asleep. Sorry. So it's four o'clock in the morning here. Um, but I'm Jess from Victoria, Australia. Um, Mum to four single, uh, four gorgeous girls, and uh, just loving the Sensi family. All right. My name is Kevin. I'm in Fort Smith, Arkansas area. Jenny to Chris and Donnie. Who is that? Yeah, guys, if you are not one of my speakers, if you guys could please uh, mute your screen, that would be absolutely perfect. Um, Samantha, did you go? No, I didn't. Um, I'm here. <laughs> I'm me here. And I'm from, I'm chatting from Roxboro, North Carolina. Wonderful. All right, guys. So we don't have Lisa on here, but we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, so I just kind of want to ask really quick, if you guys could tell us, um, so, and this is going to be kind of Q&A style. So you don't have to answer every question, um, but if there's something that you specifically want to speak on, I think that's perfect. So feel free to um, speak up and don't be shy. So um, first question is, um, what would you say was one of the biggest things that helped you really get your business started when you first joined? I'd say... Oh, Kevin, I think you phased out, my dear. What would you like about the post, stuff like that? So just kind of a follow-up through there. Okay, hold on. You cut out. I missed all of that except for the very okay. end, if you wouldn't mind. Is it better now? Yep, you're good. All right. I am out in the middle of the country, so that's probably why. Okay. Um, so we So basically, like, follow through and follow-up. So you post something, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, people like it soon as they like it at first i was like oh they'll see it and they'll buy but they weren't doing that you have to send the messages they're like hey i saw you liked it what'd you like about it gonna answer any questions and then kind of just go from there and then that's what got me to where i was just by following up and follow up through once you do commit to doing that sure and uh could you tell me so what so do you use all of those social media platforms or do you have one or two that you specifically focus more on I feel like I use more, I post more on Facebook, but here recently I've been trying to utilize Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So I've been okay. kind of taking all the photos and stuff and creating reels and stuff to kind of make it more than just like putting just a picture out there. I love that. And did you do um, a launch party when you first started? I kind of did like a virtual thing, but it really was. Well okay. Was more of me just kind of asking my friends to get to both pretty much. Okay, cool. All right, whoever wants to go next, tell us something that you did uh, when you first started that really kind of like set the ball rolling. Um, I would. Oh, oh go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was go gonna say that um, my biggest thing in getting the ball rolling was just parties. Um, for my launch party, I had a couple people that wanted to host. So I did like um, a multi-host party. Okay. And then um, from after every party I booked, I always try to at least get one other person that's going to host a party so I can keep the parties going. I love that. So you started off with a launch party for yourself. So you had like people that you already knew, right? Yes. Okay. And then from there, you did like a multiple host party. 
Um, well, I did a just a regular party that uh, my sponsor flipped to me. And okay. then after I joined, I asked a couple of people if they had host for me for like my launch party. And I had multiple people do that for me. That's amazing. So you've just really been focusing on continuing to party. Yes. Okay. Now, um, when you're, so a lot of these new consultants that are joining, um, they can get super intimidated by asking someone to host a party. So um, first of all, I'd love to know who you were asking to host and um, maybe an example of verbiage of what you were saying to get somebody to host. Okay. So um, I started off with just really close friends and family, people that I knew who were excited to support me. And then after they would host a party, I would meet new customers and new people. Um, and sometimes one of the ways that I would kind of grab somebody in was I do a participation giveaway in my party. So whoever wins, I may ask them like, hey, you won. Congratulations. Um, if you are willing to host a party, I'll upgrade your prize for that. That's an amazing way to do that. Um, just for an example, what are some things that you gave away? Um, and honestly, it just depends. Sometimes I'll look through and if they've ordered something from me, I try to see something that's within like their preference of scent. Um, if they commented on something, I was like, oh, man, I really like that. Um, I really tried to gear it towards something that they liked. And then I might even throw in some samples and um, a catalog for them hosting a party for me. That's amazing. So and then these parties that you've been doing, have they been predominantly like online, in person, some sort of combo? What have you been doing party wise? Um, primarily, it's all been online. Um, I did have somebody take um, I took one of the mini diffusers and my Scentsy Go. And then I had somebody take that to their work. So I did an on the go. Mm -hmm. um, but right now it seems like most of my customers want to do online. I love that. So that really just goes to show um, that Facebook parties aren't dead. I know that that is the common misconception. And I just want all four of you to know, by the way, that um, leaders, so uh, I've been in Scentsy for a really long time and constantly in our director and above groups, they're talking that they want to hear from you guys specifically. They want to hear from these newer consultants that are doing well and what they're doing. So thank you so much for all of that. That is amazing. Sam, why don't you, Samantha, why don't you go ahead, tell us next, um, something that really helped get the ball rolling when you first joined. So when um, I first joined, it was kind of on a whim. I, it wasn't that I wouldn't say I was obsessed with the product. I liked the product I purchased. Um, but the my sponsor kind of talked me into joining. It was not something I was expecting. She flipped a party for me and I joined and turned around. And I guess my thing was I jumped in with both feet. I had within a few months, I had a few parties booked. Um, but I also had four vendor events booked. Now I'm starting out with like no stock because I, I was kind of like, we're going to fly by the seat of our pants. Um, my major thing was, I think that's been my biggest thing is vendor events. Um, that's my hot spot. Uh, I do really well with communicating with people and, you know, I'm very much an extrovert when it comes to that. I said, it comes from years of waiting tables. Um, so vendor events are my hot spot, and I don't I don't have a lot of stock. Everything I have fits in one big Tupperware tote. Um, so okay, so your vendor events, if you don't mind, I'm going to dive into that for a second. Yeah. Um, so, are you selling a lot of stock while you're there? Are you collecting more orders? What's kind of like the focus or like the results that you're seeing at these shows as a new consultant? I, I do sell more in stock stuff um, that I have on hand. People want cash and carry, but I don't keep a lot of stock. So if there's something particular that they're looking for, I always make sure that I have catalogs on hand. Mm -hmm. um, but I also do, um, I collect, make sure, I think the biggest thing people don't do is collect customer information. So I can do follow-ups with customers. And so I actually, at my first few vendor events, I build a raffle basket um that I put in with stuff that I got from host rewards from parties links that I had open um but I build a raffle basket and I raffle it off about once every couple of months I don't do it every month I don't do it all the time it's just just enough to entice people to fill out a raffle ticket 
Alkali <laughs> outlets for. Yeah. Um, and Beast, the pro shop on our consultant store, actually just released something that's fabulous. Uh, that's what I got up to get. They released vendor tickets. Yep. Yeah, we had those and so I, years and years and years ago. Yep. I bought five books because I was like, that'll make my life simple. It's not something I got to print or something. Um, but I make sure I always collect customers info so I can send out happy mail and send out follow ups and that sort of thing. So that's that's my biggest thing for people is make sure you're collecting customer info. I could not agree with you more. I do a lot of vendor events myself. I actually ask for their info and I write it down. Um and that is the biggest thing is you're going to get turning that one that one time customer into a repeat customer because you're able to follow up with them when you have their information rather than crossing those fingers hoping and praying that they reach out to you which most of the time does not happen. All right, so you mentioned that you were a party flip. So someone flipped a party to you, so you started off with PRV. I know that Shoshana also mentioned that she was a party flip. Kevin, just like a quick hand if you don't mind. Were you also did you were you a party flip? Did you were you like when you joined was it a party flip or did you have like a kit? Okay, so he had a kit. So he joined with just a kit. Now, um, Jess Darling, if you wouldn't mind, tell us, um, were you, so when you joined, did you just purchase a kit or did you, were you a flipped party? Um, so I purchased a kit. Um, okay. I was one of those that I thought, oh, I could see the value. I love the stuff. I'll buy the kit and run. <laughs> okay, so you went for it and you ran. So I love that we've got a great diversity of that in here. Now then tell me, what really helped you kind of get the ball rolling when you first started? Um, so I did a launch party and that went really, really well. Um, but not long after joining, I actually injured my back at work. So I ended up stuck at home, like couldn't walk or sit for six months. Um, and so Sensi then became something to give me a focus and a purpose oh, um yeah so it was fabulous and I'd ask asked my a good friend would, would you please host help me grow my business and then from her party it's similar to the to um before um just asking and putting it the question out there and just basically saying look if I do all the work would you be happy to um invite your friends and reap the rewards. That's that's all I say. Okay. And so you went from having your first party to, so it sounds like you got, you had like a pretty solid base of people that you knew that were really supportive. And then you had another party, which what I assume you met more people, right? Yeah. Okay. And it just kept growing. So from each party, I'd book one or two or sometimes three, three more. Um, but I'd never leave a party without booking more. Okay. So then how do you make that happen? Are you messaging each of the party guests? How many are you messaging? Kind of like, what are you saying to them? Um, so I, so I uh, invite everyone to add me as a friend by doing a lucky door prize. So the main thing is it's putting out a post um, to say to enter, inbox me an emoji and collect, comment down underneath that way we can open up the messenger sort of chat thing. Um, and then that's where the lucky door prize. But in the messenger there, I'll say, oh, so-and-so did so well and thank you for being so supportive. Would you like your opportunity to have some free and half price rewards as well? And then people sort of jump on as we go. That is so clever. That is so clever of you to have them message you first because you fall into the issue of, you know, sometimes people don't see that message request, but if you have them initiate that and you're looking for it, that alleviates the problem. All right. So that's amazing. You guys have all, I love the diversity parties, vendor events, focuses on social media, that follow up in different aspects. Um, that is absolutely amazing. Okay. So popping in here. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. All these messages. Okay. So Samantha said, as far as stock goes, she goes for the popular items that she know will sell, like a Nova warmer, and she has catalogs on hand. So if they see something they don't instantly want, maybe they can place an order. Uh, so that is absolutely amazing. Um, 
So that's super good. I will let you guys know I will not be able to get to all of these different conversations, but I will absolutely. Okay, so we're having lots of questions. So Samantha, this is going to be your realm. Um, people are asking if are you booking parties from your face from your vendor events, or are you booking more events from your events? Um, I think it's it's mix of the both. Um, okay. so let's think- start. Let's start with booking like parties off of an event, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So actually on the sheets, one of the, like down at the bottom, it has the spot where it says you're interested in hosting a basket party or you're interested in hosting an online party or a home party. Um, And people, when they fill that out, I just make sure I'm following up with them. And I say, hey, I see you checked, you're interested in hosting a party. How can I help you get that set up? Or when would you like to set that up? So I always make sure, like I said, it's as easy as they check it off, I follow up. That's perfect. So amazing. All right, now let's go. Um, how are you booking these vendor events? And are you booking them off of like, are you at one and then you're finding out about another one and going that route? Just give me a little more info on that. So I found my first couple of vendor events through Facebook, of course, um, local to where I live. So I never drive more than 30 minutes away um, for a vendor event, but it just so happens that a lot of times when you get to these vendor events, these other vendors that are there, if you get to talking to them, they know about more vendor events. So they're leading me to other vendor events type deals. So it's, it's a mixture of, I find a lot on Facebook, but I'm also communicating with the other vendors and finding more vendor events. So it's, it's networking. Yeah. But that's smart of you to network specifically with those hosts, the vendor hosts. So that way you're finding out about events. Another good thing you could do, um, if you guys, if you don't already, connecting with other vendors. I actually find that most other vendors selling other stuff love to stop over at the Sensi booth. Um, but you could also probably ask them if they knew of anyone or any other upcoming events. Um, so that's amazing. All right, guys. So we've kind of talked about your start with Sensi, whether you've party flipped or you had that launch party um, and how you guys are meeting new people. So uh, obviously we know that you have to meet new people in order to grow a business, right? So looking um, kind of at that. So we know that you're meeting new people at vendor events, at Facebook parties, um, probably connections you probably had beforehand, but chances are, there's a probably a good amount. Would you agree with this? You have a good amount of customers right now that you didn't know prior to selling Sensi. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I want. I just want that to be something that I notice and that everyone else kind of takes note of, um, because. When you're earning sensational start and going beyond that first 70 days, it's so important that you get outside of that immediate circle. And it seems like all three of you have done exactly that. Now, sales are a super important part of earning sensational starts levels one, two, or three, and also a huge part of your business just on a monthly basis. So we've kind of talked about what has kind of gotten the ball rolling there, but the other piece, so in order to earn sensational start level two or three, you have to have at least one person on your team. So we'll take turns. Um, if you don't mind, we'll go ahead and actually have uh, Jess start us off. And uh, Jess, if you wouldn't mind telling us about your first recruit, tell me, um, you know, who it, who is that person to you? Did you know them before you started selling Sensi? And uh, how did you kind of get him to join? Um, so my first recruit is a girl um, that uh, I call my sister from another mister. Uh, we met in a, like a Facebook banter group years ago and stayed really good friends. But she lives on the other side of Australia. Um, but she's like me. She was a single. She is a single mum, and she was experiencing some hardships as well. Um, so I just reached out to her and I said, look, um, this might not be a thing, but I've, I've just joined Sensi um, and this is what it's doing for me. Would you be interested? And she jumped aboard and she's Zooming a lot now too. So she's like one of, you know, the best teamy. She, um, she's hit Sensational Start 1 and 2 and 3 as well, sorry. So she's hit the lot as well. Um and yeah, she sort of when she joined about September, October last year. 
Mm-hmm. That's um, amazing. Yeah, but it was just she, someone I knew. Yeah. Okay, that's so cool. And um, how many people do you have on your team now? Uh, 20 on the nose. <laughs> that's amazing. That is yeah. incredible. Okay, so just so you guys know direction I'm heading. So I want to know about that first recruit that each of you had attained. Um, but then after that, I want to kind of talk about how you're, you are training this new consultant on your team. Um, while you're also figuring out how to sell sense your, yourself. So we're going to put a pin in that and we're going to move over. Uh, Shoshana, if you wouldn't mind sharing that first recruit, tell us about, um, you know, how you guys met and how everything's gone with that. Okay. Well, I actually got extremely lucky with my first recruit. Um, She's been a family friend probably since I was like three years old. (laughs) And um, she was in my first party that I hosted, um, the one where I got the party flipped and I became a consultant. And I did not know, but she used to be a Sensi consultant um, several years ago. my goodness so sorry about that guys show i accidentally mu- muted you you can unmute that was not i think that those are just uh spam people popping in that group so don't mind them Oh my goodness! I have never had my whole life this issue. Okay, we are going to. My God! All right, let's try that again. We are going to not admit anybody else in here. So you go ahead, keep talking, girlfriend. I am going to funnel through this and figure out what the issue is. All right. Um. So anyhow, I did not know. I guess I didn't realize that she used to sell Sensi. So um, she, one, was placing quite a few orders off my own party and was, you know, one of the biggest reasons why I was able to flip my party and then helped with just all the orders she was placing. Um, But once she saw that I became a consultant, she actually um, started showing some interest and talking to me about whether or not I think she should join as well. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Yes. So she's someone you already knew. She was previously a consultant. She rejoined after kind of seeing like you were probably having a lot of fun with it. She showed her that interest in it. Okay. So that was your first one. And where are we at now? So how many people are on your team? So um, currently I have two and then I have two that plan to join me um, by the end of the month as well. That is incredible. Okay, so tell me about that other recruit that you've gotten. So you've had one that was a um, one that was a rejoin. Is this other one a fresh consultant that was not previously a consultant? Correct. Yes. Okay. Um, now, how did yeah? Tell me a little bit. Like, how did you guys meet? Um, which did you flip her party? Did she join with the kit? All that jazz. Okay, so um, she was actually in a party that I hosted. Um, the host was actually one of her friends. And then she had reached out to me for the um, $20 joint special. So that kind of got the ball rolling with that. Um, And then I also flipped her party as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. So she is someone that you did not know prior to Sensi. Correct. So this was, there was a party that you did and she was a guest at that party. You flipped this party and now she's on your team. Yes. And we actually have one mutual friend, um, but we just never had crossed paths before. That is amazing. So that really just goes to show that power of networking and just kind of getting outside of your circle, which is phenomenal. And I love that you already have a few people that are interested in joining in this new season, which is phenomenal. Because if you guys haven't been around yet for a fall, holy heck, it is about to change your life and everything you know about Sensi in the best way possible. All right, Samantha, next up, tell us um, about that first recruit, how you guys met, was it a party flip, all that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I just got my first recruit. I did not get a recruit stational start. Um, I did mine strictly on sales. Um, I just got a first recruit, and she had been a previous Sensi consultant and has rejoined. Um, So it's brand new. (laughs) Because I was a firm believer, I used to do a different um, company 
sales for a different company and I took off really big and had a team and I got burnt out too fast. So with Cincy, I was very much about work your own business, kind of keep your head in your own lane. I didn't want to burn out. And so I was not even planning to have any recruits to begin with. Um, it just kind of happened. And it literally happened because I posted a picture of the fuzzy dice we got in our SFR kit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it was almost like a FOMO. Like, oh my gosh, I want that. I want whatever that is that you have that I can't have. Yep. And so that that's that's it. So it's brand new. So I'm still figuring it out. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Uh, well, Shoshana, you have two. So why don't you give us a little advice uh, for Samantha here about um, what it's been like learning how to train someone with Sensi when you're still figuring out yourself? Um, it's definitely been a learning curve, um, especially like you said, like I'm still learning the business. Um, I have to give a lot of credit to my team. We do monthly in-person meetings and, um, you know, we all just help each other out. So if something is working great for us, we, you know, share our, our ideas with each other and um, just definitely have a really great team that helps me help them as well. That's amazing. All right, Jess, tell us when you were a brand new consultant, you had that first recruit, what were you doing to try and train her while you were still figuring it out yourself? Uh, it's pretty much the same. So um, with our team, including her in our team page and adding her to, um, I networked quite a bit. So adding her with other people that have trained me as well. Mm -hmm. um, but very much relying on the community to support each other and share what works for each other as well. Um, and having our little side chats, we have little chat groups and, you know, we'll say, okay, this has worked for us, let's try it. And then as time has gone on, I've sort of got a little bit, yeah, bit more organized. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. So I think that um, the community is a huge part of this. And uh, ultimately, so someone who's been around for a while, I can tell you that um, you don't need to know everything to help somebody. It's more so um, you're learning together, you're growing together, and you don't have to have all of the answers to start recruiting. You don't have to have all of the answers to be a good leader. Um, personally, I think a lot of leadership is... Um, very much just kind of showing them what you're doing. So if you're working your own business and you can show somebody else how you're doing things, that is a huge part, huge, massive part of leadership, right? So guys, we have 10 minutes left. Um, is there any sort of advice that you guys would like to pop on and share as far as um, earning sensational starts, um, you know, growing a team, hitting those sales, whatever part of this, if there's anything you guys want to share that you want to just kind of put onto the world, go ahead and give it to us. I would say um, one of the most important things that I think would be just being consistent. Um, you know, I post something every day on my personal page, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, I interact in my VIP page. Um, and, you know, I even... If I know somebody personally that has um, a small business themselves, you know, I may not be purchasing from them, but I'm still supporting them. I'm commenting on their pages and just, you know, just being as supportive as I can to help their stuff be seen as well. So that's perfect. All right, Jess. Um, I'd say consistency is number one um, and follow up and just building up that know, like and trust with everyone. So um, building up relationships with customers or with, you know, friends or anyone that shows an interest and um, keeping that communication open. It's yeah. massive. Yeah. Communication is huge. Um, so I'm seeing some comments in here. Uh, Samantha asked about what you do in your VIP group. Samantha, I'm going to tell you there are dozens of VIP group trainings that you can watch that are going to help way more than that. 
Um, okay, so then Mary shared that she hands a product information sheet to everyone, everywhere she goes. Um, so let's just end it off really quick. Uh, what are you guys doing right now in your business to continue to meet new people? So we know that you can earn sensational start. You've done these things, but you can't just stop meeting new people right then. So what are you guys doing? Like, what are your main ways real quick that you are meeting new people in this season and how you plan to maybe continue to meet new people Um as we go into this incentive season. So I've already gotten really comfortable with the online parties. Um, I did book my first in-person vendor event at a local winery for September. And then I'm personally hosting a multi-vendor online party. Um, so I've kind of branched out to other consultants in hopes that they'll bring their VIP customers, um, you know, just more contacts for me. Absolutely. And I think partying honestly is enough. Like if you consistently party, you're meeting. So tell me real quick, how many people roughly are you meeting either per party or if you want to do like per month with parties? Um, I'd say at least per party, if there's only one host, they at least add at least 30 people I have been seeing consistently. And roughly how many of those people do you think are ordering? Um, it just depends. I've had a couple not do so well. I'd say I at least get a couple. Um, but I've had parties that I get upwards of 10 to 15 people ordering. Which is crazy. And that's the thing is not all parties are going to be complete successes and not all parties are going to be complete flops. So even if you have those parties that aren't super successful, if you can measure that party's success by how many people you meet, it's a lot more, it feels a lot better than just mm -hmm. PRB alone. Mm -hmm. And when you do have those big parties where you're meeting, like you said, 15 people, that is huge. If you can build, I'd say anywhere from five to 15 new customers a month, you are doing some pretty steady growth. All right, Jess, take us home, sister. Tell us um, what you're doing to meet new people right now. Um, so I'm sort of stuck at home again. I'm, my back, I'm still awaiting another surgery. So I'm doing open houses so people coming to me um and then this month with the last chance first glance so having out the new stuff that some of the stuff we've got from sfr and uh from the new season sales kits as well so it gives people a sneak peek um but open houses have been pretty good for me for people to to come to my home but it's also a way for them to get to know me and build up start building that relationship as well yeah and that's huge. And that relationship building, you know, you're going to meet new people, but if you want them to continue to come back to you for Sensi, things like that follow up and building that relationship is absolutely huge. So guys, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for hopping on here. It looks like we lost Samantha a little bit ago, but that is totally okay. Um, but just thank you. So if there's anything else you guys wanted to share, you could send it to me and I'll pop it in our group. Um, and then I wanted to let anyone else on here know that I actually have a surprise for you guys later tonight. I have someone else that I'm going to be uh, kind of doing this Q&A with. So yeah, thank you so, so much. I massively appreciate you. Um, and just a little word of encouragement for anyone that is either hoping to train someone with shootings or sensational starts or someone that is themselves working towards sensational start. Uh, I just want you guys to know that the fortune is definitely in the follow-up. The more new people you meet, the better off you'll be. Every single one of these speakers that we had on today got outside of their immediate circle um, and they shared about that joint opportunity. You know, there's so many different ways to do that. You're never too soon in your journey to start recruiting. You don't have to know all the things. Lean on your support system, your sponsor, your director, your superstar director, and just know that this is kind of like a joint effort. So thank you so much, ladies. I love you dearly. Yeah. Thank you, Jess, yeah. for, uh, waking up at 4.30 in the morning over in Australia. You are a doll. So thank you guys. Uh, I will see the recording and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you, you Bye. too. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us. Of course.